What's up, YouTube? My name is Revolutionary Gaming, and I am here with Half-Life. While not strictly a horror game, there's a good reason why I'm playing this. Um. Okay, um. Hmm. So, uh, okay. Let's just mulligan that and start over from here. So, there's a good reason why I'm playing this, and <laughs> I'm noticing that my channel, instead of being a strictly horror gaming thing, is turning more into like a general gaming. I'm, I'm fine with that. General gaming, as long as, but even if it's just a general gaming, most of them will be scary games. Okay, so, so what I can comment on best, or rather, those are the ones that make me scream and cry and blubber like a baby and actually get good videos um... yeah anyways so this is one of the very first games i ever played on a computer actually the other ones were minecraft uh, webkin stuff i can't remember anything else like one of the first games I ever downloaded i think it's actually the first game i ever got off of steam besides tf2 Anyways, um, the main good reason why I'm playing it now, huh, nope, uh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely doing that. Yeah. Anyways. Um, the main good reason why I'm playing this is because, um, don't know really when, but sometime in the mm, future. I don't really know, near to distant future. It might take them, it's, they said it's going to take them a while to do it. There's, there's going to be a new game being released. No, unfortunately, it is not Half Life 3. But it is called Black Mesa, and I am looking forward to it because now, for those of you who don't know, Black Mesa is the name of the place where all these events take, where all the events in Half-Life Number One take place. And the reason why it's called that is because they are remaking Half-Life One. What they are doing is they are taking Half-Life One and using a hybrid Source Engine thing, pretty much boost the boost Half-Life 1 up to the level of Half-Life 2. Like, the graphics of Half-Life 1 are obviously way different from Half-Life 2. Everything's way different. Who is boosting it up to that level? And I've seen some screenshots of the game, and it looks simply amazing. Um, it's just simply stunning. Like, the... I, the words can explain it. Just look at, like, the Black Mesa game. It's... Right now, it's an early access. Um, you'll be 1999 even if even after it's released um, they've got pretty much first eighty five percent of it done so it's gonna be done soon fifty percent they want to improve upon it they, they, don't, they don't just want to remake the game they want to improve upon it so it just looks simply stunning like the head crabs and all that do look the graphics look amazing hopefully everything else matches so in honor of them doing taking a bold step and doing that I'm going to go back to the roots of really good gaming like this, like really like back to the roots of Valve and their good gaming with like Half-Life, Portal. So I'm going to be playing Half-Life One and Two and the episodes because I have all those, and I will be playing Portal as well in the like in my downtime. I'll be playing Portal as well because I already played Gary's mod. So I wanted to go back to you know, the things I did before. Also. <laughs> this is actually funny. <laughs> I just realized the parallel. It's gonna be hilarious. Okay, so um, well, the first time, the first time I played these games, the first time I played Half Life, first time I played Portal, first time I played all these games, was when I was like I. Okay, so hold on, let me. 
it was last su it was last summer, last the very first time I played this, I believe it was last summer. And let me give you a quick backstory before I explain why. Now that I think about it, he looks very fat in that suit. Anyways, so sometime near the beginning of summer. Um, no, like, the beginning of summer, I, went over, I spent a couple of days at my grandma's house, did some stuff, spent like a week, spent a couple of days at my cousin's house, did some stuff, had fun, and then, and then, um, we came back home, and one day, I had some pretty bad stomach pain, couldn't move, and then, after a while, it just got worse and worse, like, excruciating pain just from me sitting there, for the most part, it's just sitting there made it go away, at least somewhat moving, made it hurt really badly, so my parents decided to take me to the hospital, and what they found out was that my appendix had ruptured, so they had to remove it. Oh, hello? Well, something bad happened. It might just be thunder and stuff, it might be just something that it's been raining an awful lot here recently. And I live in Texas, so that's very odd. But, so I had a appendectomy, I pretty much I got my appendix removed, spent like a week at the hospital, and then spent like a couple more weeks here not doing anything, just sitting in a chair and just resting for the most part. Um, and during that time when I didn't really do anything, I played Half-Life 1 and 2, Portal 1 and 2, went through them, did them, finished them up and all that. And yeah. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm sitting here, it's because I can't move. Again. I can't move because Partially just poor planning on my part. I excruciating pain in my legs because we went rock climbing. A, we went we went to main event a couple of days ago. I went rock climbing for at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half at the beginning. We did the nine to four thing that they had there. Um, I in total I climbed an hour, like two hours, two hours, like two hours, two hours and a half and a half something, like two two and a half hours. I climbed, and near the end of it, I had trouble moving and then the next day my legs hurt but then I then after that I ran on a treadmill some I I did I did some endurance stuff to where I could run for longer and try to do stuff longer. I was trying to do that and also raise the amount of speed I can run. Did some of that as well. Um, I can run on the top speed of the treadmill, which is good. Um and I forgot the basic concept oh don't do that. Forgot the basic concept of no matter how much it hurts that day, which it did hurt a bit, it will hurt even more the next day. And it did. It did hurt a lot yesterday. It still hurts today. I can barely move. So I'm staying down here. Anyways. But, so, the first time I did these was when I had when I had surgery and was stuck at home and all that. And in two days? What day is it? Tuesday, yeah. Thursday. Two, uh, two days, so I'm going to be having another su surgery to get a deviated septum, which is like my nose things off or something, and to get some, my sinuses cleared up because I have like a chronic sinus disease or something like that. Pretty much, I have like antibiotics make the sinus go away, and then it just comes back. So I have sinus infections every month or so. Now, so we're going to have a surgery <laughs> for that, and during that time, I'm probably going to be playing these games to and posting on YouTube, and playing them. Probably going to be playing them again and doing them. Now, hold on. Well, I've been talking for a long time, and this, like these ones, I'm gonna try to do it better than I did when I played it on my own. Which, because when I played it on my own, I let it led myself to a couple of difficult tight spots where, for instance, a tank, I had too little health, and then the end boss, again, I had too little health. Anyways. So I'm gonna have surgery and go be playing the games all over again during while I'm recovering from surgery. And but this time I'm gonna be posting them on YouTube, so that's just funny and funny to me. I gave up on half the ha this original Half Life for a bit because it got too hard. Also I've never beat I've never officially beaten Half Life 2. My friend beat it, but he used cheats. I've never beaten Half Life 2 legitimately. But like I've never beaten the end part of Half Life 2 legitimately because I wanted to get the Achievements and my friend got it for me, so now I can do it without having to worry about anything. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking now and just just play the game. Level of difficulty, easy. Cause I know how to play already, and I'm not playing on normal or hard because I'm not good. The game was hard enough the first time. 
I don't want to play it on any other difficulty. Okay, let's go. Hello? Oh, put on the golden Freeman glasses. Can't see with those. Half life. Hi. Oh, hey. I'm actually very pretty low. Most of it's it's 1.53 p.m. for me. Hello, Kleiner. Hello, another Kleiner running. I think that guy missed this thing. It's nice. Okay. Okay, oh yeah, I can look around. Oh, hello. There's a rocket. Is that the one with the nuke on it? Oh, that was fast. That guy's fast on the thing. Hello. Oh wait, oh, that's right. I almost forgot to do this. Is there not an option on it? Oh, is there not an option on this one for that? Hmm. Hmm. Hey. There's no option on that. Eee! Forgot that that was his texture in this. Helmet? Oh yeah, the helmeted dude. Oh yeah. One thing that would be amazing for this. Ah! Okay. It's hurting right here. I don't know. Something's hurting. One thing that'd be amazing for Half Life, like design a like the helmet from Half Life, design that. You know, and make it like an Oculus Rift thing where the, the helmet viewpoint is like the game, and audio and all that, and ha and build a build an actual HEV suit with the motion trackers technology, to where when you put on the suit and you put on the helmet. You're in the game, like wh like how you move, like how how you move, is how like how your character moves. Like you run forward, character runs forward. You walk, your character walks. You swing, your character swings a crowbar. That you look around with the helmet on, the helmet moves. That would just be simply amazing for that to happen. And I don't think I could turn on subtitles, so that's yeah. Anyways. Um. How is this happening? I didn't see anything through the hole that is supporting this. <laughs> you can't get out. <laughs> Let me go. I want to be free. Whoa. We, we, we. Oh. Hello, helicopter. Who are you? What was that? Is it Eli? Who's that? Is that Kleiner? Eli? Cool. Okay. Forgot how long this this ride was. Hey. Hey. Oh, there goes. Um. Oh yeah, one thing I want to say. Oh, okay. The type of Gordon I am, like 
the subject code is really no, page 27. PhD, MIT, theoretical physics. Okay, get a smart. Anomalous <laughs> material is laboratory. Yay. Level 3 clearance. Yay. Not lowest in low, but I'm not really high either. It's classified. Yay. <laughs> Discretionary, what? Right? Yeah, that's cool. Cool. Yeah, I've never seen one of those before. Bye. Bye, Bumblebee. So as you look at Bumblebee, um, I'm turning the volume down a little bit. Hello. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hello? Oh, okay. there it goes. Oh, hi, Kleiner. G Man, what are you doing? That doesn't look safe. Um, at least I'm more concerned about safety than aperture sciences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I get off, right? Hello? Get off. Oh, hello, Barney. Hi, Barney. No. Hey, Barney. Yay, whoa. Okay, yay. Do, 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 do. I'm like Sanic. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Anyways, oh yeah, the type of Gordon Freeman I am, like, I've done this before, like, the way I play, like, the, if I was Gordon Freeman, like, if there's a separate personality of Gordon Freeman for everybody who played, the type of Gordon Freeman I would be, like, the way I play, I played before, hold on, the way I played before is, um, like, I've done this at least once before, like, ju I just charge it, like, this is what I do, and I've done it before. No? Okay. Yay! No. Nose. Hello? Oh, there it goes. <coughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay. Oh wait. Okay, so V is up, swim down, apparently, okay. Okay, so I don't have a... So sprint is not run, it is walk. Let's see. Hehehe. <laughs> Aw, can I only use it once? I think I did that before. Are you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Don't 
just have to wait until after the test. G man. I don't know. Okay, now I gotta get my hazard suit on. HEB suit. Where is that? Here? Whoa, okay, I'm guessing it's here. Oh, I keep forgetting what I was gonna say. The type of Gordon Freeman I am, I've done it before, is just charging on him, like. Personality. Personality. Personality wise, I'd go. I'd be like. I'd be like this, like. I'd be standing there just with a crowbar in hand. Like and if like and like lots of enemies would come towards me, like lots of combine and ant lions and stuff that would come, like would move towards me. Hello, Kleiner. Barney. Oh, okay. Has the suits over here then. I'd just be standing with Nicoba and then like a couple of combine and ant lines would come would like just come up behind me. Is that Magnus's castle wall? But you come up like come up next to me. I'd just turn and look at them and be like fun. But I'd just like I'd just be like fun. I'd just like roll my neck and be like, fun. And then just charge at him with the, just with the crowbar, just charge at him. But I, I just charge at him with the crowbar and just defeat them with the crowbar. I've done that before. Like where I've just charged at the enemy and used nothing but a crowbar to completely destroy them. Just run at him, just hash, ha hacking at him with this crowbar, just completely destroying them. Okay. I can't get out. Hello? Help? Do I, do I do something here or something? Help? How do I get out? Oh, there it goes. Anyways, I just be I just be the type of like, I'm not I'm not the type of free man who just that like, uses a sniper from far away to just snipe him just poof, 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 just do that. I just, just run up like, I've done it before, I just run up at him and just just hack at him with my crowbar. Do as much damage as I can with the crowbar, just completely destroying them from close range where they can't do anything. It's fun to do. You should try it. Very stressful leaving. Flashlight. Yeah. I am the one free man. Okay, I didn't understand that at all. Hello? There it goes. You can't remember. Did I have to use that? Nope, I don't. Okay, so the audio is messing up a bit. Shouldn't be much of a problem. What's that? What's that warning sign supposed to be? Hold on. Okay, a bit of time. Close that soon. But the audio, I'm noticing, I'm noticing the audio is messing up a bit. Don't think there's much I could do about that though. But the audio is actually like, like, I don't.
I forgot I could do this. Save. Anyways, let's go. There it goes. Whew. Thank you. What are these? It's about to get critical, okay. Mass spectrometer overloaded. Mass spectrometer is at 103%. Is that really, like, possible? Can you go over 100%? What are you doing? So many people that look like Kleiner, but aren't apparently, and this Kleiner's been cloned. And then there's Albert Einstein. <laughs> See, you hear that? It's clipping a bit. Like. See? It's weird. Why is with the audio for some reason? Like, for some reason the audio is messing it up or messing up or something. It's like, it's like doubling on itself and it's like, it's like doubling on itself like doop 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 like, like double, double doing it and then messing it up and like just cutting out some parts of it and very weird. Doop 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 doop. Hello? Can I see a G-Mon? Safe. What is with the audio? Don't know. Oh, do you, 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 I need the bot. <laughs> what are those connected to? Jeez, stop it, audio. Bad audio. Bad. What are you? Why are you messing up? Why is the audio messing up? It's very annoying. Um. Oh, I saw the I saw the electrical thing just then. Health going down. Thanks, Gina. Anyway, I think I think it's Gina that delivered it before. I haven't played the I haven't played like opposing force and blue yet, but I remember seeing that part before. Yeah, man. Do 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 do. Whoa. Resonance Cascade. Resonance Cascade. I've read about the. I actually read about what this is. Pretty much, if, like so everything, so, everything has a certain frequency at which it resonates. So everything vibrates at a certain frequency, or something like that. And if it was simulated, so it could cause a rip in space time, pretty much. And that's pretty much what happened. It caused a rip in space time. 
I'm go I wanted to say something, but I'm not going to, just in case anyone hasn't read it and spoiling. Here we do. I got teleported down here. Not good. Oh, I saw the bricks. Whoa. No, not those. Whatever those things are, I forgot what those things are. Whoa, were those striders? Those giant head crabs? Hello, Vortigaunts. I see you have your collars and bracelets. I will free you by the end of this. Don't worry. Unforeseen consequences. Yep. Don't worry, Vortigaunts. I will free you, my friends. So you may aid me in the Half-Life's tool. Ah, my eyes are watering. Why? Okay. Well, that's about all I can do right now, because, um, all the talking I did at the beginning caused me to run a bit low on time. So, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like and a subscribe. Check out more of my other videos, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!